seemed to me. I have to tell you what, uh, at the conference last week, I was telling about Russia, and uh, I was with 1,600 leading pastors in the evangelical uh, church in Russia. It's basically one large church called the Baptist slash Evangelical Union, and they, they, they're they precious, precious saints, and uh, in the middle of this, we had 1,600 that are leading pastors together, and uh, a little group of them decided that they wanted to present a paper in protest against Calvinism. Um, and one very uh, astute and wise leader put the kibosh on it, but I heard about it. So I said, you know, I, because you don't understand John Calvin, you think he rolled out of bed one day and came up with these five little deals and stuck them up on a board somewhere, and this is Calvinism, and because you don't understand what's behind it and where it came from, you don't understand his life, I'm going to talk to you about John Calvin. So I, I gave the history of the man, uh, the suffering that he went through, you know, from the death of his children to the death of his wife to having to take all those kids into his house to his hemorrhoids, his, his other problems, one meal a day, and on and on, and how he went through and did a commentary on every book of the Bible except Revelation, how he tested everything he ever believed uh, against the Word of God. I mean, relentlessly against the Word of God. From 1536 to 1564, he's expositing one passage after another, takes a three-year break, comes back, picks up the same verse after he was in exile. Uh, and I said, you've misunderstood this. I went on and on and on. And afterwards, this group of men came and said, we want to repent. We want to repent of our attitude. And I told that to R.C. and R.C. said, John MacArthur came back from Russia and 3,500 Russian pastors accepted John Calvin into their hearts. <laughs> That wasn't quite the thing, but... <laughs> it's a great story.